The S&P 500 tracks the share prices of 500 of the largest public companies in the United States, and as of October 29th, the S&P 500 had an average 10-year annual return of 13.9%. To qualify for the S&P 500, a company must be in the United States and meet the following criteria. Number one, they have an adjusted market cap of at least $13.1 billion. Number two, at least 50% of the corporation's stock must be available to the public. Number three, its stock price must be at least $1 per share. Share. Number four, it must file a 10K annual report. Number five, at least 50% of its fixed assets and revenues must be in the United States. And number six, it must have at least four consecutive quarters of positive earnings. Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Romine, and in this video, we're going to do a fundamental analysis on six of the top performing S&P 500 stocks. It's no secret that we're in a choppy market and inflation is at its highest point in 40 years. So now's a good time to focus on profitable companies that have been performing well in this current market. And these stocks are up an average of over 20% in the last three months. Quite impressive. Before we get into today's video, be sure to click the like button and then check out my website, beastmodeanalysis.com, where you can get all of your fundamental stock data, pull and save your own stock scorecards, and do side-by-side -side fundamental analysis for multiple stocks at the same time. And if you want to use my technical indicators in Thinkorswim or TradingView, those links are in the description down below. Let's kick things off today with a success story from Peter. Love the Beast Mode website. I went through the 19 companies I own and learned a lot of what I should have known before buying any of them. The more you know about a company, the better your investment decisions. And today we'll do a side-by-side -side fundamental analysis. And I love this format because it really teaches how easy fundamental analysis can be. If you're not in my Discord, you're really missing out on our trade alerts, hot stocks, and custom indicators. You see our results every day here. So just ask yourself, what's stopping you from joining our tribe? All right, now's the time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. Yeah. We're now in the beast mode side-by-side -side analysis spreadsheet, and today we're going to cover Qualcomm, ticker QCOM, Lowe's, ticker LOW, CVS Health, ticker CVS, Pfizer, ticker PFE, Union Pacific, UNP, and ConocoPhillips, ticker COP. And today we're focusing on a lot of stocks that have nice low P.E. ratios. Our lowest on the day is going to be 14.9 for Pfizer. And our highest on the day is Union Pacific at 25.8. Beast Mode spreadsheet is broken down into sections to make it real easy to understand the financials. And our first one is the income statement. And this tells us whether or not the companies are making money. And it's also color coded where the most important is green followed by blue. And then if you need any additional information on a data point, all you do is hover over it and a pop up will come up and tell you exactly what it is. So for operating margin, this measures how much profit a company makes on a dollar of sales after paying for variable costs of production, such as wages and raw materials, but before paying interest or tax. And and we can scroll over any of them and it'll pop up and give us that information. We also have an up arrow and this tells us that we're looking for a high value and we want it to be ideally 10% or more. So our best one on the day here is Union Pacific coming in at 40.1% and our worst one on the day is in the red and that is ConocoPhillips at 8.27%. For our net income margin, the higher the better and our winner here again is Union Pacific at 27.38%. Other very strong ones on the day are Qualcomm at 26%. 0.94% and Pfizer at 22.94%. It's also important to realize that these different margins, these will vary depending on the industry. Next section we're going to look at is the balance sheet, and this tells us whether or not the companies are financially stable. And here we like to compare the total assets to the total liabilities, and I've created what's called the tattle ratio because it tattles on the company's overall financial health. We always want that number to be above one because that would be at par, and ideally it would be coming in at two or higher. So if we come over and look at ConocoPhillips, we can see they've got $62.6 billion in assets. They have $32.8 billion in liabilities, giving them the best tattle ratio on the day of one point. Others that are really strong on this are going to be Pfizer coming in at 1.7 and then we've got CVS Health at 1.43. Next section is the key metrics, and these are all very insightful to the company's overall condition. And you'll notice that all of them are blue, and that's because I think all of these are very important. So let's start at the top here. We've got revenue growth last year. Our winner is going to be Qualcomm at 42.64%. That is a crazy high number and great for Qualcomm. Our worst one on the day here is Union Pacific Corporation. And these guys, it's understandable that their numbers would be down because of the pandemic. They do have a stronger revenue growth forecast for the future, so this doesn't concern me too much with 
them. Pfizer, they've got just a little bit of revenue growth last year, which is kind of a surprise given the pandemic. And then our worst one on the day here is ConocoPhillips at 42.32%. We've also got the free cash flow margin. And what is this? Well, it measures a company's ability to expand its business and pay returns to shareholders using only the money generated through current operations. So basically, if this number is positive, it means they've got enough money coming in to pay all of the bills and keep the lights on. And that's really important. Our strongest one on the day here is Pfizer at 29%. Also strong is Union Pacific at 28.73%. And Qualcomm is very strong at 25.76%. The rule of 40 indicator, this is one of my favorites, and it measures a company's combined growth rate and profit margin. Many venture capital and growth equity investors believe this ratio should exceed 40%, especially for software companies, which is what this indicator was originally created for. So our winner winner chicken dinner on the day here is going to be Qualcomm at 68.4%. Pfizer is also pretty strong here at 30.77% and Lowe's at 34.61%. Now what's surprising is ConocoPhillips is still sucking wind even though oil prices are very high. And on everything that I'm seeing on ConocoPhillips, I'm not that impressed with the company and I currently don't own any of this company right now, even though I owned quite a bit of them in the past. And then we also have the FNR indicator. This is another indicator that I really like. And this is the free cash flow plus the net income margin plus the revenue growth. It's simply summing up all of them. And this is a quick way for us to determine who's strong and who's not. Our strongest one here is Qualcomm at 95.34%, followed by Pfizer at 53.7%, and Union Pacific Corp is still strong at 46.1%. Our next section is management effectiveness, and this tells us how well management is generating returns for investors. And for long-term investors, this is a very, very important thing to look at. Our first one is the return on equity, and here our best one on the day is going to be Lowe's at 342%. Uh, that's extremely strong, so I would consider that an outlier. Qualcomm, they're also exceptionally high at 112%, and then we've got Union Pacific Corporation at 30.5%. Next up, we've got the 5R indicator, and this is simply summing up all of the different return ons, these five different fields above it. And this is a quick way to sort out who's very strong. Our strongest on the day here is going to be Lowe's coming in at 447.5. Our second strongest is Qualcomm at 254.3. And our third is going to be Union Pacific Corporation at 77.6. And we can also see ConocoPhillips is sucking wind down here with negative 23.1%. If you guys are enjoying this video so far and like the way I teach, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and be sure to drop a like on this video. And our last section that we're going to look at is the growth metrics. And I'm a big believer that if you're investing long term, you want companies that are consistently growing their business. And here, the more blue and black we have, the better. Anything that is red is a major red flag. So we can see ConocoPhillips, they're hurting over here on the far right. Our net income growth for last year was very strong for Qualcomm, 74%, followed by Lowe's at 36.3%. And then the EBITDA growth is another one that I like to watch. Our strongest here is going to be Qualcomm at 48.7% followed by Lowe's at 45.5%. And if you're curious what the EBITDA stands for, just hover over that question mark and it tells us that this is the income or earnings with interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization added back. Here are the six stocks we covered today showing their PE ratio, the percent change over three months, volume percentage, the recommended trail stock, and the short-term trend for my buy-sell indicator. And now my top three picks today based on the fundamentals. Number three is Union Pacific Corporation. And not only are they strong fundamentally, they have a 27% net income margin and they are up 21% in the last three months. They are under the radar, but producing steady gain. My number two pick is Lowe's. And even though new home construction is slowing down, home improvement retailers are still struggling to keep the shelf stock, which indicates demand is still high. I've got a rehab we're about to start in Oregon and getting supplies is a real concern. And my number one pick is Qualcomm and they have a net profit margin of 27%, an impressive 68% rule of 40, and they have a revenue growth forecast of 18%, which is very good for a company with a low PE ratio of 22.8. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. If you have not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out BeastModeAnalysis.com where you can easily research stocks based on financial stock data and utilize side-by-side -side comparison. And if you like free stocks, free crypto, or to earn up to 8.6% interest on your money, check out my promo links in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.